Vicky always gets all the sales. And then she brags about it like she's so good. No one ever calls me. Hello? Butter delivery service. Best butteriest butter in the whole bayou business. This is Chainsaw Truck speaking. How can I assist you today? Yeah, we can do that. Wait, how much? A whole stick! Vicky, suck it! This was a whole stick! You've never sold a whole stick, you wench! Sorry, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I can I can deliver that today. Yes, ma'am. How soon do you need it? I'll be there in three minutes. I'm gonna put my best man on it. Butter me. Ugh. Let's ride. Getting the opportunity to shoot 300 pounds of butter and having this episode sponsored by my friends at Warpath makes today a pretty good day. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to shoot butter in the game, but there are tons of other cool things that you will get to shoot in Warpath. If you don't really know what Warpath is, you're in the right place. It's an authentic, real-time, World War II-inspired strategy game. The game is based on real events and uses real weapons and tanks from World War II, and there's all sorts of realistic details in the game which I really appreciate. What I really like is that the Normandy landing is now included in the game. They made a super tough guy character, Randall Miller, or War Machine, this part of the game. With a name like War Machine, he definitely could be part of the demolition. With Warpath, you can lock and load your favorite World War II arsenal and establish an army ready to wage war on the global battlefield with fully customizable weapons and tanks. You can really think strategically. You can drag your troops to wherever you want and let them battle right away or you can let them stand by. We're talking real control where you'll be able to operate tanks with the same mechanics as in real life. I really get into the game thanks to their amazing graphics and find myself drawn in with all their realistic sound effects and you can join global alliances and fight your enemy and expand your territory. So if you have not downloaded Warpath yet, like this idiot, then you should go ahead and download the app now through my link in the description and you can use the bonus code DEMOLITION for some extra bonus features. And there's more if you invite your friends, you may have a chance to win a PS5, a Switch, or tons of Amazon gift cards. All you have to do is check out the giveaway link in my description, Demo. Thanks so much to Warpath for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. I really look forward to you joining me and Sergeant Randall Miller, a.k.a. War Machine, as part of our global alliance. Your support of a brand that supports Demolition Ranch means a lot. I really appreciate that. Go check them out. Link in description below. Uh, especially because, like, not only are we spending money on, like, guns and ammo, butter... I also ruined a pair of pants for that intro. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I have a totally normal, totally regular video for you. Um, normal targets here. These are, it's just butter. We just bought a bunch of butter. I don't, yeah, this was highly requested. I'm pretty sure I saw this in the comments a lot. Uh, but the gun we're shooting today is made by Heiser and it is a pack one. You can see it's got Heiser right there, pack one. And as you can see, it's a very unique looking gun. Sporterized, it's got a compensated barrel and it's got a, some speed holes in the trigger there. So this is a pistol, of course. It's a single shot pistol, break open. You put the round in there. And what's unique about this single shot break open pistol, besides those facts, is it fires very large rounds. This barrel that I have on it right now is chambered in 762 by 39, which for those who are unaware, that is the exact same round that an AK-47 shoots. We also have a 5.56 barrel, which is the same round that an Air-15 M4 shoots, and we also have a 410-45 Long Colt barrel, which is like a big revolver caliber, all out of our tiny single-shot Heiser pistol. And we wanted to see like what would happen when you shot butter with the pistol. It made more sense in my head earlier. It's gonna be good. Up uh, first, my favorite gun, the bear. I'm just kidding, it's not. You guys probably thought it was, but it's actually this. This is my pawn shop 25 auto. Teeny tiny little bullet. We're shooting a 25 straight at the butter. And uh, I think it's not even gonna go through one block. This is, by the way, uh, like 350 pounds of pure butter and I didn't really tell you guys I got this thing pointed in a safe direction it's hard like it's chilly out here it's like in the 60s and the butter is room temperature outside so it's not like butter that's nice and warm it's like butter like when you pull out of your fridge and it's still pretty solid okay 25 auto check that out 
pretty cool. The entry there looks like it's almost 50 cal size. So did it go through? Oh, I don't, I'm gonna be covered in butter by the end of this video. Got my butter gloves on. So entry and oh dang! Holy cow! All right, I'm actually pretty pretty surprised at that. Entry hole in the second block of butter. Nothing. So the 25 auto went through probably a block and a half. Let's step it up. It's a well-known fact that Hitler loved butter, so uh, we have his Luger. That didn't make sense. Nine millimeter going straight at the butter. I'm gonna say this one's going through two and a half. Firing. Dang, look at that. It's crazy seeing an entry hole that looks like that. It's pretty neat. You'll notice this stick. We put the stick in the old hole so we knew what the new one looked like. So. That's our 25, that's our nine. We also put sticks on this side too. The stick actually made it more confusing, but there's a hole there and a hole there. That's our nine going in right there. The stick is in the 25 hole. What do we got? Nothing. Dang, I can't believe this is butter. I wanted to see, after seeing how big of a hole a nine millimeter put in the butter, what a 45 ACP would do to the butter. So. I'm gonna shoot it out of this 1911. Try to move over a little bit so we don't get our holes confused. That's the worst. Wow. Obviously, you can see the big one is a 45 ACP. You can see light through it. And then we go straight into this block. Right here is our entry. Still fairly large. Now that is a big, heavy bullet. Did it carry its way through the butter? <gasps> Dude, <laughs> that's crazy. That's totally it. Let me get my knife. I was pretty confident we would never find these bullets because to find them, you gotta go digging into all the butter. But we got super lucky on this one that it was right here. Totally fine. It's not bent at all. It stopped it perfectly. So it went through exactly two blocks and stopped right here. Did not even make a dent on the third block and stopped it without deforming the bullet at all. It's pretty neat. Time to shoot the hyzer. Oh, I called it a pack one earlier. I thought that was the name of it, but this barrel, I just put the 45 Colt on there and it says PS1. So apparently that's not what this pistol is called. It's one second, let me do some research. After extensive research, I've decided they just name each gun based on what barrel it has. PS1, par one, pack one. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what we're going with. I'm gonna shoot the PS1. Sounds like a PlayStation. And we're gonna shoot a 410 shotgun shell out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is my first time to shoot it. See what it does. Oh, I feel like it's really gonna kick a lot. I probably should put two hands on it. Here we go, I'm gonna just shoot right here. Ow! I don't like this at all. I mean, it's fine, it didn't hurt. I don't know if I hit anything. Yeah, so that short barrel just spread it. So I was shooting birdshot there and it just spread it all out. Okay, let's get really close to the butter and shoot it with a 410 birdshot round. Firing. Ow, wow, that looks really cool. Well, look, some came out right here. Golly, just, it's fine, it doesn't hurt. You can see all the little like peppering. That's the powder. There's our wad right there. Okay, let's see if any of them made it through. No, not at all. Okay, let's shoot something bigger. I found a 45 long Colt. Hollow point. Oh, this is gonna be worse than the 410. All right, hollow point should make it slow down a little faster, we'll see. Ah, that wasn't bad. All right, I I'm okay. The glove helped. Look at that. All right, I'm actually gonna switch gloves so I don't get butter all over my shooting gloves. I got shooting gloves and I got butter gloves. There's our bullet. And going in here, and didn't go through. It has more speed than the 45 ACP, but it was a hollow point and not a full metal jacket, so stopped in the second block. We have not got anything to go into our third block of butter yet, but maybe we should step it up again. Rifle round, five, five, six. Okay, so we're doing this because I think the 762, the AK round, will have a better chance of making it through the butter than this one will. This is a rifle round. There's made to be shot out of a 16 inch or longer barrel. The bullet tip is like right here, which means it will fly like less than an inch before these ports start 
blasting fire out of them. Firing 5.56 five, out of this crazy hyzer pistol at butter. Never thought I'd say that sentence. Oh, wow. That actually didn't kick at all. It's such a light little bullet. I guess the 410 shotgun shells just, I was like really worried it was gonna hurt. Ugh, but it didn't kick at all. But I also, now it's jammed and I can't open it. Oh, got it. We looked all over, cannot figure out exactly which hole was the 5.56. Five, I think it went in there, but we're not sure. So we're gonna actually just shoot the second block. So we'll have a fresher area there to figure out where it goes. So there's one hole in that block already, so we'll know where this 5.56 five, goes. Jeez, it's crazy because it doesn't kick a whole lot and it doesn't move, but I see this huge flash and my ears start ringing even when I have ear protection on. It is so loud. So nothing so far has come out the back besides that 45. Wow, so the 45 was right here. Yeah, so that's where we dug the 45 out. Somehow the 5.56 five, did not go through one block, probably because it's moving so much faster and it's lighter dissipates its energy faster, probably breaks apart some. Little physics craziness there. We are going to go ahead and go up now to the 762 by 39. All right, it is time for the 762 by 39. That big old round. It's gonna do better than the 556, I think. We're gonna shoot that second block again. But, I don't know, that 556 was surprising. I don't, I really thought it would go through. I think it's just going so fast that it broke apart. We'll see what the 762 by 39 does. Definitely kicks more. So that's the hole, right? Yeah, it's right on top. So there was another one right there. That's the 762 by 39. Let's see if it went through. Dude, it went through sideways. Look at that. So that thing's tumbling in there, coming out sideways, going into our second block, entry sideways. I'm gonna say it didn't go through. Nope. Okay, so our 762 is in our second block which means we're gonna have to get something bigger, guys. All right, we're actually done with the Heiser pistol now. Very interesting pistol, but we need something bigger. Had an idea, wanna actually just compare it real quick to the exact same round, but out of an AK, out of a long barrel. I'm gonna shoot that second block again and just see if it's different than out of the short barrel pistol. Wow, it threw a lot of butter back at us. So obviously, already off the bat, you can see it's a lot different. That bullet and that bullet were exactly the same, but this one was out of a longer barrel. When this round is in here, the bullet goes to about right here. So as soon as the bullet moves half an inch, it's losing energy right there. All that's coming out here. On an AK, we've got a 16 inch barrel that is picking up speed the whole way. So going a lot faster. Let's see what we got on the backside. Whoa! <laughs> Hold up. Dude. Dude, it just cut through it like butter. Dude, that is a big cavity. All right, so it's going down. Let's see what happened here. Dude, look at that. It went in here, hit the table, and then went out the side, I guess? It must have lifted it up. How did it not scratch the table? Okay, still didn't touch this. Uh, I kind of want to shoot that one more time. Actually, no, we probably should shoot a bigger round. We got so many rounds. Let's do that one. Okay, I, I was looking over here for the hole. It actually did go through the table. So it went right there as it went sideways and scratched our butter and really messed up the table. We're going to put these back in line and actually shoot it with the 762 by 39 again because I want to try to catch one going a little more straight. See if we can see how far it goes. I'm going to try to get directly in line, but I was directly in line last time and it still wasn't straight. So. Even though it's hard to be straight, I'm going to try today. Yeah, I have a feeling that was not gonna be a good shot either. It's cracking our whole block. It came out here, but that block is cracking. Entry there did not come out. Check this out. You can kind of see how it's still spiraling. It kind of twists as it goes down in there. All right, that's all we got. Uh, thanks, have a nice, oh wait, no. We have a 500 Magnum. I'll shoot it for you guys. 500 Magnum, 350 grain, that's a big boy. Out of this, after seeing how good the AK did compared to the small little pistol, I thought let's get maximum velocity out of this 500 Magnum. So we have a 26 inch barrel Magnum Research 500 Magnum revolver going straight at our butter. Jeez. I got hit with butter. 
Oh, I got blasted with butter. My cameraman has butter stuck to him. <laughs> I got hit here. Butter is in my arm hair. I got hit in the shirt and shoulder. Hit me right here in the thigh. I was like squatting down like that. It just got me. Yeah, it took a pretty good hit. Cut it in half. There's half of it down there. Jeez. Oh, there's. I wonder if those bullets are 500 Magnum or if those are from the other rounds. That is pretty neat. It just chopped it right in half. So we've got a little bit of piece of metal there. There's some metal there. There's some metal there. Safe to say uh, it went through the first butter. Here's our entry hole into the second. There's some pieces of metal there. So it, that is the 500 Magnum breaking apart. Nothing can make it through two blocks of butter. We actually may have just discovered the best body armor material the world has ever seen. Hear me out. Blue tip 50 BMG. This is incendiary, which means it has an explosive in it. The problem is, I don't know if that butter is going to be hard enough to set off the explosive. It probably won't. Perfect. We got this awesome stand. We're going to go ahead and hit the butter with a 50 BMG. Jeez, that actually might have exploded. There's a lot of black over there. It smells like a hamburger shop in here. Uh, oh yeah, it's really melty. So you can see all the black all over it. There is a nine millimeter from the Luger earlier. That fell out. There's another piece of metal right there. Oh, there's something else. What is that? That actually could be our 500 Magnum. There's where our 50 cal. So it went through one, it split it in half, and threw it off the table. That's our first one. And over there, <laughs> it went through the second one and split it in half with less energy, so it just opened up. You can see the size of this hole is like this size passing all the way through here. And then this is our third one that we hit. Ugh, I can't, it's so slippery. Ugh. There's a 50 cal in there. That one in there, and then it came out right here. There's a little slip, but it's, it's much smaller than a normal 50 cal. And then this one we had not touched yet, but there is a hole there. I don't think there's metal there though. I'm gonna have to start digging with my pocket knife and figure this out. That's it. I gotta get it out of there. Oh, sweet. Dude, crazy. Oh, I just touched, oh my gosh. Crazy, okay, so that was an incendiary, which means in the tip of it, it has an explosive round. It's also missing all the jacket. The jacket is gone. The tip is gone because the tip exploded. All that black stuff is from the tip going Pow! I guess it just shredded the jacket as it was going through, which is why the hole seems so small coming out because just this was passing through and it didn't have much energy anymore. Exploded the first one, broke the second one in half, made a large hole through the, sec the third one, but then made a small exit hole and then stuck right here. And we found our 50 BMG in the fourth stick of butter. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. Like, to see the results of it going through and then stopping and then like flashing. A lot of stuff I didn't know would actually happen. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Actually, if you guys could not subscribe because I made a promise that once we got to 10 million, I would show all my guns. And I know there's some ATF agents that recently subscribed to me because I want to see that. So if you guys would actually unsubscribe, like and don't subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Miller Man. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor. Oh, you stayed to the end.